Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I have been gone forever, but um, I wanted to do this uh, makeup collection tour because I want to do a declutter. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff on my my top. Um, I just my like I feel like my mind is a little cluttered, so I'm not feeling like a lot of inspo like doing my ma my makeup as well because I just have. It's just a little too much. So I just want to show a little bit of like overview of my um, vanity, I guess. So this one, I, my husband actually built it for me. I have a lot of mess under there too. Like it's just too messy. Um, and he just got me this uh, mirror. He never finished it. So he did the whole thing. He put the, everything he did it himself, but he never got to the mirror part. And he just bought this one like a couple of months ago. Um, so he just put that one up there. So that's why I tried to move everything out of the top. Uh, but it's still messy. Still messy. Like I had like maybe two, three towers of those of my lipsticks. And then I moved them to a drawer. A drawer. I'll show you later. But um, yeah, so this has a, I'm going to show you an overall. It's actually a pretty big mirror. I've had this one things from like Didi's for a long, long time. My chair, I still have to get a new chair. So as you can see, it's extremely peeling. Like it has, it's leaving a lot of like all the little black stuff on the carpet that is um, from the chair. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna start with the top and then I'm going I'm go into the drawers. So right here on the top, I have this little basket from the like the Dollar Tree and I just have a little wipes. Uh, usually when I'm doing my makeup, I have one of this little things this one i got it from timu and i just kind of use it like a, a color switch so i have those right here right here i bought this one at ross and i have all of my lip glosses uh -oh. i have all of my lips glosses and then i have in the middle my lip liners and then i have my like taller lippy sticks and also like liquid lipsticks on this side right here as you can see i have all of my lip glosses right here yes then i have this little thing right here i got it like um i think my sister gave it to me for a birthday and i just have my mirrors there i have my q-tips i just got this at walmart it's almost time for christmas so i got that one and then i have this little thing right here from i think either ross or somewhere right there and i just have my brushes i have a little bit of this thingy i got it from um she she in then got it from Shein and all the little rings from inside except this one right here but all of the little rings I got them from uh, Timo so I have 30 uh, like I think uh, blenders I think one of them is actually a beauty blender and I think this one is from the Paw Paw from um, Shop and Say so and then I have my the only tower I have right here I have a mess back there as you can see I want you to see so much mess but um i have a tower right here i have my uh kind of like the same collections like i have all my mac lipsticks right here and then I have milani you know they were popular so i grabbed some of those and then right here i have a becca i think i got this from marshall's or ben decay marshall's as well and then i have like my single eyeshadows like bases the liquiders and then on this one i have my like little things for um i was trying to have this ones for like lip balms and stuff but then i just started putting more stuff in there but i have that in there and then here I have all of my brow stuff like i said i have to declutter a few things because i haven't used this, this one in a while i don't think I've, i think this is actually an eyeliner not like a yeah this is eyeliner this one is eyeliner too and then i have my brow stuff right here my favorite ever it is the LA Girl Brow Pomade. I recently switched switched to soft black because I used to use the brunette. It's here. It's in here somewhere. Um, yeah, but now I have that one. So right here I have my palettes that are currently in my shop, in my stash. Okay, so we're gonna start with this. Uh, uh, the first drawer I have right here. Um, I have a mess right here, and I'm excited to do this because I need to do a declutter soon that's gonna be my next uh project thing okay so the first drawer right here is supposed to be my new products that i'm that i got obviously and that i want to try but i just accumulated stuff here and then i haven't tried it 
like i feel like we are on almost november i feel like i got this palette on maybe like five six seven months ago and haven't used them yet because i just put them here and i kind of forget so like i said i'm gonna do a declutter next so everything is gonna get rearranged but i just kind of wanted to do this the before so like i said i have some palettes this palettes right here i got from um from timo actually but they're this one is pretty good quality i already tried it this one i haven't tried yet i think but um i think i only swatch as you can see so i'm excited so i do have some lashes i have patches i have blushes i have more uh palettes little palettes right here lip liner mascaras another palette from another palette from timo so those colors look gorgeous but i have to test test the quality um so yes so that's that what i have here i do have my my like my face serums i have an island i haven't worn them because i'm a little overwhelmed with a lot of the stuff that i have so um yes right here i have my face so right here i do have my face uh sprays setting sprays stuff like that um like this um before makeup primer stuff like that i have little like serums right here also um yes so i have all of this here so i just need to like i said film this game and then do my declutter on my second drawer i have my like my higher end palettes right here i have my natasha natasha denona i have uh tres luce i have um what is it what is this one's called modern renaissance urban decay uh, more modern renaissance Too faced this one is from Huda. This is my first Huda Beauty palette. This is the uh, Walgreens from Urban Decay. Um, I do also need to do a, a palette declutter. So, and I have uh, Morphe, Laura Lee, Tarte. Uh, this one I got it from She Glam, from with Shop Miss A. Then right here I have my bigger palettes from uh, Profusion. Like this is a favorite. This is the Sienna's one. Um, color Ru gold rush favorite the only one that i don't love so far a lot it is this one right here is called uh chocolates not a favorite but um we'll see the next one right here i have more um like drugstore and kind of like that um category i guess um like i don't know why i have the little things but i think it's right here so i have from bb i got that one from burlington i have a few bh cosmetics honestly i love bh they were my first uh brand that i just got a lot of makeup from i got a lot of blushes brushes uh face palettes lipsticks that was my like i had that was my favorite brand because it was very affordable so it has like good memories so they did come out with the new uh formula and stuff like that some things are not the same some things are stay the same the palettes um some of them are like a hit some of them are not this one i actually like better than the mimosa these two palettes a lot of people read about so i just got them because of that but um this one is a little better than the mimosas one <clears throat> so i also have a few of the uh beauty creations uh brand i guess so bibella is actually a sister brand to beauty creations but they have the same website so i just got that from there and then i have this one um so this is actually beauty creations so this is the winter spice let me open it i'm gonna be opening a lot of stuff but i don't want this to be uh too too long video but i just want i feel like that's what uh makeup collections are for if you just see the packaging it's just like you're not actually seeing anything but i like opening my stuff so here is a <clears throat> so here is the winter spice from beauty creations as you can see um pretty uh good uh colors they actually have a beautiful like um like sparkly uh what is it called formula like this one right here is look at that glitters beautiful so this is a winter spice then i also have let me see i also have this one right here this one i have it more as a um like a memory i love emily i love all her videos she was like one of the first ones that i started watching so i just love this this is an old old 
palette. So when she came out with the collection, I bought it. So it's, that's, it's been a couple of years now. So, and I have this one from um, Colorbook. I like this one. I kind of want to, I wish it was more like a browns. But this one, as you can see, has yellows going to uh, reds. So one side is actually all sparkly. And then the other one is all matte. Same one on like across from each other, but matte. So that is such a good palette if you like this kind of tones. <clears throat> I also have this one. This is more of a newer palette for me. Well, not not right now because I had it for a while, but I haven't used it a lot. That's what I mean, newer palette to me because I haven't used it a lot. But as you can see, this is a neutral uh, browns um, preferred for this time of the year. Uh, then I have this one right here. This one is called Oh Poppy. So this is an older pot palette from um, from Beauty Creations, but I just got it. As like I said, I got it this year. So and I did use this one a little bit more than other palettes. So oh my god, I'm making a mess. Okay. So um, here I also have all of my Juvia's palettes. I'm pretty sure you know how this one looks, so I'm just going to go through the names. So I have the Zulu by Jubias. Oh, and I also have this one. This is actually a pretty good formula, also from CD Color. I just don't like the packaging. I love all the shades, different shades. Really, really good payoff. Just don't love the packaging. Uh-oh. Okay, so then I have the Warrior by Jubias. Beautiful. Okay, so I realized that I need both of my hands. So here we are in a, like a little awkward position. But anyways, right here I have the Nubias. You know what? I'm going to take everything out. So here is just beautiful, beautiful colors. I really love Juvia's for their shimmer shades. Um, they have good mattes, but they tend to put a lot of shimmers in their palettes and not a lot of mattes. So if you love a lot of the shimmers and you have another palette uh, for the mattes, then Juvia's is the one to go. Right here, it is the Nubian 2. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Sorry. So here's the Nubian 2. It has bigger uh, pan sizes. It's like I said, like this one, almost like only three formats. The rest are shimmer. So if that's, is that what you like? If that is what you like, then, you know, kind of get those kind of palettes. And then I also have the Magic Mini. So this is more of a colorful palette, but still gorgeous, gorgeous shades. Then the last palette from Juvia's is the Saharan. I actually got this in a bundle and I got most of them together. I think maybe just not the Warrior. I got that one separately, but the rest, I got them all in a bundle. So they have really, really good sales. Um, what is this one called? This one is the Saharan. Beautiful color right there. Beautiful. I like That's my favorite shade from this palette. So yes, really love the shimmers from them. Then right here, I have my smaller palettes. This one I'm not gonna, I don't use anymore because it has literally maybe like 15 years old palette. Cause I got this one when I was like maybe 10, 12, I don't know. So really old palette. Uh, so I just have it cause that's the one my mom got for me. So I just have it for that. Then right here I have my small palettes. When and well, this is, um, what is this one called? Something about sunshine, something like that. Then I have this one, Wet and Wild. Not Wet and Wild. Rimmel London. Then I have uh, this one. It is Wet and Wild. This one I got it from, I think, um, Shop Miss A. Yeah, I think Shop Miss A. And then LA Colors, the Dollar Tree, another Dollar Tree. Really, really good payoff, actually, also. I can't see, but... Um, yeah, and I just have more little palettes right here. I can't see. Yes. So, yes. So, I have that. Okay. So, on my last one, I have more, like, my bigger palettes at the back. And then most of my ColourPop, ColourPop palettes. So, I'm pretty sure you already know how the ColourPop palettes look. So, I'm just going to show you the packaging. I know so I was going to open them. But, um, most of this, I, I actually love keeping the box. But of some of them, I just, either they didn't come with the box or, I don't know, throw away the box. But I really love keeping the box. So this right here is the Cabana Club. I have Limoncello. Yes, please. This is actually my first color pop palette that I got. Uh, whatever palette. 
California uh, Love Palette. Flutter by Sweet Talk. Ornate. Uh, the Man. What is it called? The Mandalorian. I also have the Gather Round Sisters, but I think that's in my shop, my stash. So it's somewhere here. Uh, then I have also like my um, Oprah. I only have two. I have the one from Samantha March and I have this one from, oh no, this is Samantha March. I guess I have the one, the, the Leora one in my shop, my stash. I had the, I thought I had this one, but um, actually the formula from them, I think it's okay. It's not the best, I think it's okay. I do like the highlighters. Those are like a better formula in my opinion. But uh, the shadows are okay in my opinion, like I said. Anyways, I also have the So Jaded from ColourPop. This was a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I have uh, some, what is it called, Morphe palettes. So this one is uh, the 3502. This was, this is an OD. I have to take this one out for my next rotation because I don't know this one was you know there was a time when Morphe was all a palace from Morphe were such a buzz um and everybody wanted them so that's one of the ones I got this is uh what is it called 35d this one my sister gave to me beautiful color I do like the I do like the formula from Morphe but it's just I just haven't gotten any new ones in recently I have this one, so this is from BH Cosmetics, a Shan XO um, collaboration. So on this one, um, it has this one, and then on the other side, this is the original one. She, this is the second one. On the original one, she had this, I think this story, and on the other side, she had lipsticks, uh, but then on the second uh, collaboration, she put eyeshadow on both sides, so that's that. Then I do have the favorite palette from um emily at the emily edit the ones with a uh, collaboration with makeup revolution i like this one more, i do like this one better than the little one but it's still old because i bought them bought them at the same time then right here at the back i have my older older palettes that i just haven't used in a while but i just seem to can't throw away uh so this one right here is profusion uh mixed gl metals glam let me open it. I don't want to break my nails. So this is, uh, what is it called? A cool tone palette. Let me smell. It still smells like chocolatey because it used to smell like chocolate, but it still smells like chocolate. Um, yeah, I haven't used still want this one in a few years. So this is also kind of like a memory. I got rid of, um, I got rid of most of my BH Cosmetics palettes. But this one, ow, I got my finger. This one I haven't, I haven't yet because I don't know why, but I don't know. This one is old too. I have another one. Uh, this is a Royal Affair. Look at that. They have really good uh, story, color stories, but um, I don't know. So this is another one actually. This one I'm sure I'm not gonna use. It probably has mold. So this is a Carly Bible. I This was my favorite, favorite palette ever. Um, it had highlights. It had that simple uh, everyday eyeshadow look. So definitely a favorite. So this is a, a Opposites Attract from e.l.f. This is actually, it come in. So this one actually came out a few years ago, but I bought it, like I said, this year probably. So I have to use this one on more. This one is such an old palette also from bh cosmetics look at that gorgeous but i don't know why i still have it so this is kind of more like a memory i guess drawer because most of these things like this one was my first palette uh i know i said like from different brands but this is like from the drugstore this was my first palette that i got um well this one my mom got it for me so this is also uh this is also like a memory i'm not gonna get rid of but I'm not going to use it anymore. So this was my first palette my mom got for me. Um, and then I have this one right here. This is from BB. I probably got this at Marshalls. Obviously not using it anymore. But I still have it right here. 
so let's get on this was my palette so now let's get on to the other side okay so on this side of my drawer I, I mean my vanity i do have more like my face stuff so uh and i'm gonna do this one with one hand because i don't think i'm gonna do any swatches because it's stuff for the face and um that's that's gonna take a while but anyways um so on my first drawer i have my foundations my powders and my primers so on this side right here as you can see i have my foundations i have sephora she glam uh la girl fenty makeup revolution colourpop elf and yes mostly that and i have a couple of face powders that are, are, are like compact i have the oh what is uh this is a the camel cc no not the cc the camel powder foundation cover girl i don't have a lot um and then for primers also i don't have a lot which is good because um you know it's a little better because yeah, i can rotate myself so i have elf elf essence i really like this one it's really actually like hydrating so this is the la girl pro uh mixing foundation pigment so i like this one also because i if i get more like orangey ones i like that one um and then i have juvia's uh oh this is actually foundation um what is it called this is the juvia's uh i am magic natural radiance foundation which is really good i have more elf most of my primers are elf actually and then right here i have my uh setting powders and i have um the maybelline fit me uh one size I have uh, NYC. I feel like this one is after the clutter because it's old. I have Hourglass and I have uh, City Color, Airspan. Also have to declutter because I feel like it's it's been a while. I have She Glam. I have this one, the Velvetizer. This one is also old. Then, then actually right here in the corner, I also have my concealers and that I also don't have a lot. I have uh, Beauty Creations. I have Makeup Revolution this is cover girl not a favorite when and well i like this one aoa not a favorite uh master not a favorite master from maybelline i think it's maybelline i don't know i think it's maybelline not a favorite so that is what i have on my first drawer on my second one i have all my lipsticks um so this i have my bullet lipsticks actually uh all of my like longer uh lippy sticks uh matte liquid lipsticks i have uh, separately but on here i have all of my bullet lipsticks so i don't have them in any i think i i tried to have them like section by color but they're just kind of they got a little bit um uh, mixed so i have l this is black radiance right here i have uh when and wild cover girl this is from i think oh this is actually from sunny sunny space i thought it was it was beauty creation but no so this is uh from nude glam lipstick from la colors i think it's la colors but um yes la colors really really good lipstick is actually and it has really really good pigment um yeah beautiful so right here i have essence i have a couple of different colors happy lovable crazy i have more wet and wild maybe i have jordana really really old lipstick i have this is from huda this is pool party from huda beauty i have Revlon. um la colors actually that one is also a really really good formula i have Revlon. this is the only like lip balm from what is it called jeffree star i almost forgot so i have some from shop miss a this is also from shop miss a so this is from beauty creations this is the one i thought it I got confused with because they look pretty similar. I have in the back my red lipsticks. I have Wet n Wild, Milani, um, all of those. Oh, all of those are AOA. So that's the second one. On the next one right here, I have all of my blushes and my highlighters. Yes, I did pull put all of my blushes and my highlighters together because I was trying to make space for my lipsticks. So uh, right here I have mm, She Glam, I have Milani. I have, this one is from es Black Radiance. I thought it was Essence because I got it confused with, where is it? I don't know, but it's somewhere, somewhere here. Okay, so, and I have BH Cosmetics. I have Elf, AOA, uh, Essence right here. 
Milani Tower 28. I really like this one. Uh, Profusion makeup. What's it called? Profusion? Yeah, Profusion. I like this one. Love this one right here. Uh, LA Girls uh, Soft Matte Cream, cream, uh, cream Blush. I have City Color, but this is like old, old City Color. This was LA. Really like this one. I have L. Honestly, not a favorite. This is Catrice. Not a favorite. I like this one. And then LYS. I really like this one too. I don't remember. Yeah, this is a cream. Really, really beautiful. I have to try more shades. Right here, I have BH, not BH Cosmetics. Beauty Creations. Really love the packaging. All of the uh, blushes, the bronzer, they come like this. Even the setting powder. I also have the setting powder, but I didn't see it it's somewhere. Then right here, I have a highlighter palette. And then starting on this side, um, I have Elf. This is um, Seed Color, also older collection i guess then starting right here i have all of my highlighters so right here i bought this as a bundle um this is becca i got it like a few years ago i have l this one right here i don't even know where it's from but it's okay i have this one this is wet and well um what is it called hustle and glow actually beautiful highlighter but it is a powder so i tend to not use it a lot but it's beautiful same with this one it's a beautiful shade it looks beautiful on the skin but since it's a jelly i just kind of forget about it and this one is just a big big packaging from um what is it called the juvia's the heroin glow it's okay it, this one is actually an okay shade but i tend to forget about it then at the back, uh, you guys remember this one? It is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I have two of this. The other one, I'm not sure what's up. Maybe it's in my shop, my stash. But I have two. I have this one from She Glam Solo. This one is AOA. This one is from Elle. I really like this one, but it's not a favorite also. Then I have this one, Wet n Wild Highlighting Gold Bar. I actually like this one. It's good. Then I have this one. It is from Becca. So this is actually Opal. Um, it's, it's, it's cute. It, it was, um, you know, overhyped a little bit. But it's, it's cute, like I said. So I have more L. Uh, this is from AOA. This one, it is a golden bronzer. But actually, this is a beautiful, subtle highlighter in, in my skin tone. As you can see, I have used it quite a bit as a highlighter subtle whenever you don't want to do too much beautiful then right here i have revlon oh this is the other one what in wild then i have ofra this is actually i think i have two i have milk and cookies no maybe i only have this one i have a real drive but in the smaller version i know that one is in my shock my stash and then right here i have uh what in wild this is our old uh highlighters but they actually work really, really beautiful. So I still have this. And then I'm just going to put them back. And then we're going to go on to my last one. So on my last one, I have all of my uh, bronzers. This one are by itself just because they didn't fit in this one together. I tried to put them all together, but it just wasn't working. So anyways, I have my uh, stick bronzers, my liquid bronzers on this side right here. Or like contour sticks. This is actually from Black Radiance. Love it. So this is from Wet n Wild. Love it. This is from She Glam. Love it. This is from, um, what is it called? Milani. It's okay. This one is from Elf Putty Bronzer. I like it. So this is uh, the bronzer on the Beauty Creations. So this is Sunny Honey. CD Color Matte Bronzer. Love it. Um, NARS. It's okay. This one is okay. This one is Wet n Wild. I like it. I don't love it. This one, I it's okay because it's a little bit orange on my skin tone. So... I don't love it either and then this one is actually uh oh so this is actually doesn't have much payout payout so it's a good shade but i have to build it build it build it build it up so not the best so this is l this was a favorite a uh, few years ago now it's just there um i have to try i haven't tried the newer stuff stuff from elf other than like the putty stuff but um yeah so this one also was talked about a lot. The City Bronzer from Maybelline. It's okay. This one has a little bit, as you can see, it's too too reddish. This one is the AOA. This is, is actually a setting powder, but I got it 
like as a bronzer. And then they came out with bronzers. Um, so this one is not a favorite. So I do have the Bahama Mama. This one I like. I had it for a few years. Um, I feel like it's getting on the older, older side. So it's not as a good payoff. But um, it's still there. And this is the LYS bronzer. This one is actually really, really good. Um, it's a good shade, good payoff. This one I have it on the shade No Limits. This is called No Limits. Oh no, this is Harmony. No Limits is the line. So I have Harmony Medium. And I have a palette from uh, Coastal Sense. Old, old palette, but I still have it here. And then I have a, a, a like a little palette from uh, Beauty Creations. So, so this is Keep Me Blushing. So is this mostly blushes? What do I have it here? Let me see. So it has two highlighters and two blushes. So yeah, they shouldn't be here. It's here. And then I have this bronzing, uh, strobing and shading highlight and contour palette. I really like this one. So yeah, so that's it for my, what's in my drawers. Let me show you something. So this is what I have currently in my, like my shop, my stash. So my daughter actually rearranged everything. As you can see, she, uh, she put all of my mascaras here and here and they were all supposed to be here. She just rearranged everything. But here's what I have, like bronzer, um, blush, highlighter, another blush. I have this, the primer I'm using, this is a blush. I really like this one, that's a subtle uh, blush from ColourPop. I have, this is the foundation I'm trying to use up. This is the one I'm using like almost, er, all, almost all the days that I'm wearing foundation, I'm wearing that one. Um, yeah, so this is what I have here. Okay, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my collection. Like I said, I'm going to be doing soon a um, declutter because I, I need to. Everything is a little messy, so I just need to declutter a few things. I really need to get a new shirt. I really want to get a new shirt because that one, I sit on it, it, it starts to peel. Anyways, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.